Hello everyone. Today we're going to perform uh, deflection and stress calculations on any structural cross section uh, using the uh, this beam calculator in SolidWorks. So in order to access these calculators, we need to go to the tools toolbox and select beam calculator. If you don't see this option, that's uh, you can go to the add-ins and make sure that you have the toolbox utilities and toolbox library options selected and then hit OK. In the beam calculator dialog box, we're going to select the required load type. If you keep scrolling down, there are a few options for us to select. Uh, for this sample problem, we're going to select the first one, which is a beam fixed at, at one end and loaded at the other end. Under the uh, type of calculation, there are two calculations type, deflection and stress. We're doing deflection first and stress will do it after. In the input area, uh, we can see the, the properties of the beam that we are going to select. So let's go to beams. For this problem, we're going to select um, 5 by 16 W beam, but there are more options here for your requirements. So after you select the beam, click on done. As you notice, uh, some input uh, values automatically updated based on the beam that we selected. Uh, these, value, um, these values can be also changed if you have a custom structural cross section. Under um, Axis, we're going to uh, select an axis to determine the, the value for the moment of inertia and the um, when we are calculating the deflection and when we are calculating the stress, the section modulus is going to change based on the axis that we selected. So let's go back to deflection and um, now we need to type the values for the remaining input properties and um, except for one and that's the one that we need the uh, the calculation results for example if we are calculating deflection uh, we need to make sure that there are values for all properties except for that deflection box okay so let's go to the um, this is the young modulus this is based on the material that we select. Uh, for this sample, let's assume this is aluminum and a uh, modulus, young modulus value for this type of material is around 10 million. So let's put 10 million. The moment of inertia, that's already calculated based on the beam profile. The length, let's make this 100 inches and the load, we are going to put uh, 5,000 pounds and let's hit solve. The um, based on the um, on the deflection, this is the result that we uh, obtained based on this value. So let's say we want to also calculate the stress. the 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 value that we need to um, obtain is the section modulus. So let's Let's clear all this and let's go back to beams. Select the beam type, click on done, and the section modulus is populated. The length is going to be the same, 100, and the force is going to be 5,000 pounds and hit solve. And this is the stress that we obtain based on these uh, parameters. And the stress in is in psi but you can also change it to metric to get a uh, pascal or megapascal values now let's say that we have a custom structural cross section that is not on this list in that case we can enter all these values manually so let me bring a um, a bean profile Let me bring that beam profile so you can um, 
So I can show you how to obtain those numbers. So this is a WBIM. Um, so let's go to the calculator again. And for this problem, we are going to select a uh, simply supported beam and the load at the, at the middle. So let's calculate the deflection first. Make sure we clear all these parameters before we select the beam or start typing the values. So since this uh, cross section or beam type is not on the list, we're going to manually input all these numbers. So the, um, the modulus of elasticity or the junk modulus for steel is around 30 million. But if you want to get the exact value, we can go to the material table in SOLIDWORKS and look for the steel material, alloy steel is the one that we're using. And we are going to change the units so we can be consistent. And this is the, the value that we're going to copy and, and paste into the table here. So put that there. The moment of inertia, uh, I'm going to uh, show you the cross section of the beam. And in order to get that information, we can go to the evaluate tab and click on section properties. There is no information here because we need to select the section that we want to calculate. Now hit recalculate. Right here, um, we're going to select the uh, the moment of inertia for the y-axis. In this case, is um, we need this moment of inertia around the, the y-axis. So it's 53.85. And that's the number that we need to uh, put in here. Next, we are going to apply the, put the length 200 inches, which is that beam length. And the load for this case is 2000 pounds. And we can hit close. Uh, looking at the results, we see a 0 0.203 inches in deflection. So now let's, let's take a look at the simulation results that I have already created for this same problem. If you don't know how to, um, perform a a simulation in sol a beam simulation in SOLIDWORKS, you can watch my other my other videos uh, for for beam simulation. So let's go to the double click on displacement. Looking at the results, we see a 0 0.208 inches in deflection, which is uh, really close to the calculator in uh, in SOLIDWORKS. So now let's take a look at the stress. So again, we'll leave the results box empty. Next, we go to the section modulus. So this is calculated by dividing, dividing the moment of inertia by the um, distance Z from the cross section centered to the edge. So let's go back to the cross section of the, of the beam. And we can see it right here. Let, now let me let me bring it up and let's double click this. We can see that the the overall length is 9.87. So we need to divide the moment of inertia, which we already got it from the previous uh, step. 53.87 divided by 9.87 divided by two. So once you input um, those numbers, we get a value of 10.91. And that is, that is your section modulus. And the length is going to be the same as, as before, 200 inches and 2,000 pounds. Now let's click on solve. The stress uh, is coming out to 9,165 PSI. So let's take a look now at the, cal at the simulation. Let's double click on the stress. And 
the maximum stress is coming out 9,165, which, which is exactly what we obtain using the calculator. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video and, and this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.